or fish pen a system or an enclosed area where fishes are kept for a particular period of time before transferred to the market for sale. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we want to better understand this cages system that are manually built in recent times for people who are interested or aspiring to become fish farmers. My name is Enyo and this is the Ghanaian Farmer proudly brought to you by Lizzie or Lee Tomato Mix. Get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube and LinkedIn, the Ghanaian Farmer. Standing next to me again is Godfred Yeboah. He's a farm manager at Mackenzie and Sun Fish Farm Limited and he's going to throw more lights on cages because he builds the cages as well. Godfrey, thanks for joining me again. Now when we say cages, what are cages? Okay. So cages are basically system where we keep an organism mm. for growth. Okay. okay. So when we talk of uh, fish cages, then we are looking at a system where we can keep, keep fish mm for growth. Okay. Yeah. How many types of cages do we have? Okay. So we have, let me put it, two types. Two types. Yeah. We have one on water mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. and we have uh, cages on land. Okay. okay. So these are the two types. Okay. So the ones on land, yeah. this type is basically made of what? Okay. Or what do you call this type? So on land, mm -hmm. we also have different okay. types. We have this one, we call it the canopy okay. or the tarpaulin tanks. Okay. The tarpaulin tanks. Okay. Then we can also have uh, concrete tanks. Okay. Okay. So on land, and the next one is the earthen pond. Okay. But mostly uh, for destruction of maybe somebody's land, uh, most of the time people don't prefer the earthen pond because they that one you are going to dig. The land. The land. Into yeah. the land. Yeah, and you, if you are not able to continue production, then that land, you can't use it for anything mm. because there is a hole. Mm -hmm. You dug a hole. Mm -hmm. Unless you dig, you do refill. Mm. Okay, mm. but for the tarpaulin tanks and mm -hmm. the concrete tanks, mm -hmm. can be done on the surface of the land. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, you are not going to destroy the, the land. land. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, which of these tanks are, are suitable or do you recommend that it's easy to do? And also, the cost is not too high. Okay. So, uh, the tarpaulin tanks is easy to do, uh, cost-effective, and manageable mm. as compared to the concrete tanks. Okay. Because the concrete tanks, if you, you are building and you don't build it well, mm -hmm. there will be cracks and with time, leakages. So, mm -hmm. anytime you pump water, mm -hmm. it will leak out. Mm -hmm. Anytime you pump water, it will leak out. Mm -hmm. And you should know that pumping water, you are using electricity, mm -hmm. the cost of electricity will go high, the cost of other inputs will go high. Mm -hmm. uh, so at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you selling your product will mm -hmm. be equal to the cost of your production, mm -hmm. then you are not going to get anything. Mm -hmm. But with the tarpaulin tanks, mm -hmm. it's easy to handle. Mm -hmm. uh, this system that we are seeing here, mm -hmm. you can dismantle the whole thing mm -hmm. and fix it back again. Okay. okay. As compared to the concrete tanks, you can't dismantle it. Mm -hmm. uh, when do you want to stop the work. The only thing is then you need to break everything. Okay. But this one, you can dismantle it, mm. keep it somewhere. Mm. In the near future, mm. even your children, children mm. can come and fall on mm. it and use it again. All right. Now, let's look at the materials that are required for each of these tanks you mentioned. The three. Yeah. The one that you're going to dig the ground yeah. and then the concrete one and then the tarpaulin one. What materials are involved and how much do I need if I want to build each? Okay. So let's start with the earthen pond. Yes. The one you are going to mm -hmm. do. Uh, you need to, after getting your site, mm -hmm. you need to get excavator. Okay. To come and dig the, the size of the pond that you need. Now, excavator coming to the site, uh, digging the pond and its uh, inlet where you get water into the system mm -hmm. and where you need to drain mm -hmm. the water. Uh, you spend not roughly about 50,000 cities okay. per one construction. Okay. Okay. So that is it. 
for the concrete system, uh, you need to get your cement, mm -hmm. uh, your blocks, then the masonry works, mm -hmm. uh, iron sheets and uh, mm -hmm. iron rods mm -hmm. and those things. Mm -hmm. uh, concrete tanks also. Um, an estimate of an estimate of about thirty five thousand. Okay, depending also on the size. Depending also on okay. the size. Okay, now we move to the tarpaulin one. Then the tarpaulin tanks. So, let's assume we want to build a concrete tank mm. of a size like this tarpaulin tank mm. that we are seeing mm -hmm. here. You, uh, you need about 35,000 okay. cities. Okay. But for this tarpaulin tank, mm. uh, when I was constructing it, mm -hmm. that was last year, mm. uh, the tanks, mm. okay, the, the tarpaulin cost me about 2,500 cities in doing it, mm. okay, in doing it. Mm. Then the metal cost me around 10,000. Mm. So if you look at it, it was, I spent almost about 15,000 mm. in constructing one of the tarpaulin tanks. And we have about how many of and them? we have three here. Three of them. Yeah. So roughly we are looking at? About uh, 45,000. 45,000 for the, 45, for the yeah. three. Okay. Now I realize that you have a greenhouse kind of structure. Yeah. On, I mean, covering the tarpaulin tanks. Why is it like that? Okay, so first, uh, we want to prevent direct sun. Direct sunlight. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we try to shade it so that the sun will reduce mm. a little. Because here was meant for uh, the fry, mm -hmm. uh, the baby yes. fish. Okay. The fingerlings. Yeah, the fingerlings. So we didn't want also a high level of sunlight. Mm here mm. so we try to cover it mm. the second thing was about predation bears and other things were picking them mm. so we try to block those predators mm. uh, lizard and those mm. things from entering mm. and be picking them mm. that's why we have this greenhouse thing here so okay so so predation. so if you have a place where this beds and lizard cannot have access yeah. to it there's no need for you to construct this yeah there's no need but for Tilapia, mm -hmm. there is no need. Mm -hmm. But for catfish, catfish mm -hmm. like a dark environment. Mm -hmm. So there should be uh, some shade. Shade. Okay. Shade. Okay. There should be some shade. Okay. So but you can use a normal iron sheet mm -hmm. instead of this one. Mm -hmm. Or if you have this one also, mm -hmm. fine. But you mm -hmm. can use a normal iron sheet mm -hmm. to get some shade mm -hmm. for them. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this tapoli um pond that you have here, how do you bring in water and how do you move the water out? Okay. So we have, uh, okay, so basically, mm. fish farm is all about water. Okay. That's why they said aqua water, mm. aqua water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before you set up, you need to get a source of water. Okay. Okay. So we have our pump machine in the river. In the river. Okay. So, and we have our uh, inlet. That is where our uh, water get into the tank. Mm. So when you own the pump machine, mm -hmm. it is an electric machine. So when you own it, the, po the water will be drawn into mm -hmm. it. Then when you want to drain it, we have an outlet. Mm. We have created a hole where the water can go, go out. Yeah. Okay. Now, how often do you change the water in this pond? Okay. This one, every week. Every week you need to change water. Okay. Every week. Because this is not a natural system. Unlike the pond, mm -hmm. the pond there are bacteria and organisms that break down uh, uh, components which are not good okay? for they the fish. For the fish, okay. they break it down so mm. it's not harmful mm -hmm. to the fish. Mm -hmm. But for this one, mm -hmm. there's no bacteria from the soil. Mm. You don't have any soil. Mm. Okay? So most of the time, everything is settled at the bottom. So almost every week, you need to change the water. Did you cement the ground? No. Is the water touching the ground? No. Okay. The, the thing is built in such a way that it's all round. Okay. Okay. So under too, we have the canopy. It's still the canopy yeah. down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's built all round. Right. Yeah. Okay. Why is the water in the pond looking green? Okay. Did you add any color? No. As I was saying, the feed that we give them contains a lot of protein. Mm. So the protein produces a lot of algae. Mm. Okay. And uh, ammonia and nitrate, other components mm. that the, 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 the feed produces. Mm. So this, the algae, mm. the, the feed, when we give them the algae, which is coming out from the feed, mm. is what is making the water green. Okay. Apart from uh, the fact that this one is easy to uh, disconnect, yeah. that is if you don't want to do the farming again, and also it's a bit less expensive, 
and you do not destroy the ground, why would you go for this pond and not the the one earthen pond or even the cement one? Okay, uh, for the earthen pond, mm. uh, the okay, the quantities of fish mm -hmm. that can be stocked in the, the earthen pond mm -hmm. can be the same quantity that will be stocked here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the concrete tank, mm -hmm. the quantity can be the same thing here. Mm -hmm. So you, the farmer, you look at the cost analysis and you see that, okay, whatever can be done with the pond mm. can be done here. Mm. And this is cheaper. Mm. So why not fall on this one? Okay. okay? And uh, is, this, this is flexible to handle. Okay. It's, it's very easy to handle. Okay. So that even you, the farmer, you don't mm. need a lot of labor mm. because you are going to also pay for labor. Mm -hmm. So when you have one or two people, mm. they can handle a lot of this mm. as compared to the pond. Okay. Yeah. My name is Anjan. I'm getting interactive on our social media platform of Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, The Ghanaian Farmer. This week, our focus is on you deciding the right type, uh, less expensive, durable, but, you know, less stressful kind of cage or pond if you are aspiring to go into fish farming and we learned about three the ethan pond the con concrete pond and then the tapoli pond and what you see right now on the background is the tapoli pond we are going for a quick break i'll be right back after this stay tuned <laughs> Thanks for staying. If you're just tuning in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime Television. And our focus today is on cages or ponds that are available for fish farming. And so our focus, we mentioned three. The tapoli one is what we are discussing right now. We have the concrete one and then the earthen pond, which has to do with excavator. I don't have that time. So, <laughs> go for it. I'll surely go for the tapoli okay. pond. Now, let's talk about maintainers. Okay. How do I ensure that I take proper care of my tapoli pond so that it will last at least, if not, for a very long time before I think of changing the whole setup again? Okay. Let's look at maintenance uh, culture. Okay. Mm. So first of all, uh, when you have it, mm -hmm. you need to secure the environment where you are going to fix it. Okay. Uh, securing means maybe you need to get a, a barricade mm -hmm. or something to to protect it mm -hmm. so that uh, not you per se mm -hmm. but maybe some children or some people from outside mm -hmm. that intruders mm -hmm. doesn't get access there mm -hmm. because this is a soft material yes. so any play by children or anything with a knife can they destroy can it. it so that should be the first thing you need to secure the, the environment place. okay now at every harvest mm -hmm. or when you have fish in it and you are harvesting at every harvest you need to clean it nicely so you can have a, a, a pressure washer. The Do one I use soap and water? No, just normal water. So okay. you, you, you can get this, uh, or you can even take it to where they wash car. Okay. Okay. Then they wash it nicely for you. You come and fix it again. Uh, I think when you do the cleaning of it and you preventing people to come, you will be able to maintain it for a longer period mm. of time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's a poly. We have colors. Okay. Now, this, the one we have now is the blue color. Yeah. But you also mentioned that catfish like a bit of a darken, yeah. uh, you know, area or kind of environment. Why didn't you go for black and you went for the blue? Okay. Now, naturally, black absorb heat. Mm. Okay. So, when you have a black system, the meaning you are going to introduce, get more heat into your system. Okay. Okay. Which wouldn't also be good for the fish. Okay. So, you need to get... A, a, a color that uh, reflects heat. Okay, so any color apart from black is able to uh, prevent heat from entering. Mm. So blue, white, pink, or any other color mm. is preferable. But mm. black mm. absorb heat, mm. and uh, mostly during the day there will be absorption of heat. Mm. In the night, mm. the water will become very warm, mm. which might not be. And in the night you are asleep. You might not know what is happening. Mm -hmm. By the day, the, 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 the time day breaks, mm -hmm. you might get mortality. Mm. That's why we went for the, the blue, blue color. Yeah. All right. I also see you have some nets around it. Okay. What is the net also doing here? Okay. So the nets, sometimes when we bring the fish, mm -hmm. okay, 
uh, when you are starting, mm. let's say you have fingerlings. Mm -hmm. Now, when you bring the fingerlings and you grow them, mm -hmm. before you put them in the main net mm -hmm. for production, mm. you need to keep them in the net and look at their condition. Okay? Uh, for instance, let me come in here. Mm. Now, when you come and buy fingerlings from uh, Mackenzie uh, and Sound Fish mm. Farm Limited, mm. okay, and you take it to your farm, mm -hmm. ideally, mm. you need to isolate your fish for a certain number of days and see whether... How many days? For about one week, okay. seven days, okay. to see whether you didn't transfer any disease from Mackenzie and, uh, uh, Mackenzie and Sound Fish Farm to your farm mm. before you introduce it into, into your, your main pond. pond. Okay. Otherwise, when you introduce it direct mm. and there was a disease, meaning you are introducing it will that infect. disease into your system. Okay. And it will be difficult to cure. Okay. Okay. So most of the time, when you bring your finger lens first, mm. you need to keep them in this net. Okay. And study their behavior mm -hmm. for a certain number of time. Okay. Now, when they are having any disease or anything on mm. them, you mm. getting them from the net will be easier than you collecting them from the main system. Mm. Because mm. for this one, immediately mm -hmm. you lift the net, mm -hmm. you'll be able to catch all of them. Mm. Okay? So that if there's any disease, you'll be able to treat them before you introduce them. All right, go for it. Wait. You mean that if I have this tapoli yeah. pond, yeah. I should have this net inside the tapoli yeah. pond, right? Yeah. So when I bring the fish from Mackenzie and Sons Fish Farm Limited, yeah. I should first of all pour the fish in yeah. this yeah. for one week. Yeah. After which, if there is no infection, yeah. I can now pour the fish from the net into the pond yeah. and then I'll bring the, the net outside. Then you bring the net outside. Okay. 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 Net, but if there is any infection, mm -hmm. it is easy for you to get the fish mm -hmm. and do your treatment okay. before you send them into your... The main pond. The, the main pond. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I know that when it comes to livestock, there are certain kind of animals that you cannot rear. In, in open spaces or in a, a crowded environment like pig, yes. poultry. So which environment do you suggest that I can, you know, put up my pond and then start rearing my catfish or tilapia? Okay. So for tilapia mm. or catfish production, mm -hmm. every environment is suitable, mm -hmm. provided there is availability of water. Mm. So if you have water in your environment mm -hmm. at any point in time, mm -hmm. you can rear your catfish or your tilapia. Mm. Okay. In case I want to do this in my home, I have a very small space yeah. and I want to, you to build a pond for me, the tapoli type. Yeah. How much, what's the minimum amount that I can use to? Okay. So, minimum. How many do you want to build? Oh, just one. A very one. small one, yes. Okay. For Why myself, me, me, me and my family. This one is even too big for me. Maybe half of this. But this one, then it can't take any fish. <laughs> yeah, but I said yeah. it is for my personal consumption. Yeah. So half of this. Okay. So you need to get maybe 5,000 cities. For half of this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 5,000 cities. Well, uh, should be enough for you. Yeah, it should be enough for you. Okay. But you see... Mm -hmm. uh, on the ground where you are going to fix it, mm -hmm. you, it's not just you need to dress the place. If you can see here, mm -hmm. there's a concrete. Yes. Okay. So you need to at least get the place, the down, mm -hmm. very in a nice condition mm -hmm. before the other you things build come. The, yeah, the pond on, on it. it. Okay. Yeah. Do am I permitted to uh, join catfish and tilapia in one pond? Yes, you are permitted, provided the tilapia will be a little bigger than the catfish when you were putting them in the system. Now, when the catfish is bigger than the tilapia, they will consume the tilapia. Eh? The catfish are carnivorous. The catfish will eat my tilapia? Yeah. Why? Because they are carnivorous. They, they feed on animals. Catfish feed on animals. Okay? So, you can join them. That is what we call polyculture. Putting two or more uh, organisms in the same environment. You can do it by making sure that the tilapia or whatever organism you are going to pair with the catfish. It's bigger than the catfish. Yeah. All right. Um, how much do you charge for building one cage? You let me use this small size because this one is what I can tackle. This small size. If I should consult your services to build this tapoli pond for me, how much okay. are we so, expecting? Yeah, without the metal frame, mm. okay, the, the material alone, mm -hmm. 
will cost you about thousand five hundred. Your services, so I'm asking for your services. You've told me how much one okay. costs, which is fifteen thousand. Okay, so my service. Yes, okay. if I contract you, okay. that Godfrey, I want to start fish farming in my backyard. Okay. So come and build this size. What do you call this size? Is how much? Okay. What so, the size is it? Uh, what the so size? So this is a, 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 a six by ten feet. Six by ten feet. Yeah. So I said I want a six by ten tapoli pond. Okay. How much are you charging for your services? For my services. Yes. Okay. Then it will also depend on the distance I'm coming. Okay. Okay. So let's say Accra. Mm. Okay. So I consider my transportation and mm -hmm. route mm -hmm. and the service I'm going to. So mm. maybe uh, I can charge you about maybe 600, 700 cities. Okay. Do you buy the materials or I have to provide the materials? You provide the materials. I'll provide the materials. Yeah. So your your service fee is different from, from the, material. the materials. Yeah. Okay. But if you want me to also get the material, mm -hmm. do everything and come and fix it for mm -hmm. you. That one too is there. It's also available. Yeah, it's okay. also available. Okay. Um, Another question I want to find out is that with this system of cage, okay. as compared to, let's say, the stream, okay. what are some of the advantages and disadvantages? Let me consider the two and then decide on which one is more suitable for me. Okay. What are some of the advantages if I should do my, uh, you know, fish farm in the stream as against me doing it in the tapu? Okay. So, the basic one is that you are doing it on in the unnatural environment. Mm. There's no pumping of water. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. So mm -hmm. you, you don't get your mm -hmm. electricity mm -hmm. or bill mm -hmm. for it. For this one, mm -hmm. you need to buy water. Okay. That is electricity. You need right. to be pumping. Okay. Okay. So that one is the, the basic difference between you mm -hmm. doing it on mm -hmm. land and that place. Mm -hmm. But with this one, mm -hmm. as we were discussing earlier, mm -hmm. you have control mm -hmm. over your system. Mm -hmm. Each day and day out, you come and stand, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see. It's like poultry farm mm -hmm. when you enter, mm -hmm. you will see all your best mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. But with that one, mm -hmm. unless you dive into mm -hmm. the water, mm -hmm. you can't see the fishes. Okay. So whatever is happening to them... You have no point, idea. Yeah, you, you have ah. no idea. But this one, it is easy. Okay. Even I can tell this guy, they can come and raise this net. You will see all the fish. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. you have access. Right. Yeah, accessibility. Okay on the land mm. than on mm. the river. Okay, so there's accessibility yeah. here. You know, inside the Tapoli Pond as compared to the mainstream river fish farming. My name is Anjanam and this is the Ghanaian farmer. Focus today is on cages. You know, the basic cages that you can construct to do your catfish or your tilapia farming. I'm going for a quick breather. And so when we come back, we'll wrap up it all on the cages or the, var the various types of cages that we have used in fish farming. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. This is still the Ghanaian farmer and our focus this week is to introduce to you the types of cages or pond that we have you can use in your fish farming or either catfish or tilapia. So quickly, before we wrap up, I have realized that there are some baskets, or I don't know what you call it, okay, around crate, around the farm. Uh, can you get me one, please? Just pull one for me. Um, what are they also used for? How is it, um, what is it used for? Okay, so this is what we use during fish sales. Okay. okay. So this is where we pack our fishes in various sizes mm -hmm. into. Mm. And this is what we use to weigh the fish mm -hmm. for the market women, mm. which we call them the aggregators, mm -hmm. when they come to your farm mm -hmm. to come and buy. Mm. So this is the system that we put the fish in. Okay, so yeah. let's say a catfish okay. harvested from your pond, okay. filling up this. Okay. How much is it going for? Okay, uh, it will depend on the, the weight. Mm -hmm. If it is filled, mm -hmm. it depends on the weight. Mm. Okay, A catfish may be filled and weighing, uh, let's say, if it is filled and it's weighed about 50 kilos, mm -hmm. with this one full, uh, if you are to sell a kilo of the catfish, mm -hmm. let's say 20 cities mm -hmm. a kilo of, mm -hmm. then 50 kilos will be about 1,000 Ghana. Okay. 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 So a kilo, uh, a full of this uh -huh. 50 kilo is 1,000 1, Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Now, this cage business, okay. how often do you get orders from people? Oh, Godfrey, I need you to build this cage for me. How, how is that business like? Okay. 
Uh, it is a new system okay. that is now coming up. Mm. Uh, people are not doing it much because they don't have knowledge mm. about it. Mm. Okay, so it is now that people have started uh, getting knowledge about using this system. Mm -hmm. A lot of times mm -hmm. uh, they were using the earthen pond, mm. but people have got to realize that okay, using this system mm. prevents you from destroying mm. your land and other mm. things. So. For some two weeks now, I've been getting some calls All this. from people. Okay. Yeah, and I'm hoping maybe it continues. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we, when we're at the Etting Pond, yeah. you mentioned that some of the uh, adva disadvantages yeah. are um, there are some crocodiles, snakes, yeah. Yeah. and some few things that might once in a while pop up their head. That might worry the fish, yeah. or there are some infections that might yeah. Yeah. you know come up. If I, over here, if I have my catfish here or my tilapia in this type of pond and I'm wearing it to sell, what kind of infection are likely to spring up? Okay, here infection is, let me say, zero. Okay. Unless the infection is from the water, mm. the main, maybe the, the, the system you are pumping mm. into. Otherwise, as I was saying, this is a very controlled environment. Okay. Uh, even difficult for a frog to jump into it, mm. uh, difficult for a snake to climb, mm. difficult for, if you are able to secure it, then you don't well. have any problem. Yeah, you don't have it. Okay. If you want to harvest okay. from the pond, okay. either your catfish or your tilapia, how do you go about Do I enter? Okay. So the only thing is, you open your outlet, uh -huh. allow the water to go. Uh -huh. to go. Ah. So that all the fish will, will just be there. Then, then you, I'll collect you my enter fish. and you collect them. Oh, wow. Or you can lift the, the, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Then you scoop your, ah. your fish. Easy crown. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's easy than the earthen pond. Okay. Easy than the tank system. Right. Yeah. Today too we are done okay. when it comes to cages or fish ponds. What would be that message that you can share with people who do want, don't want to go into livestock, crops, or even the fish farming, but want to go into cages, building cages for people. Do I need some special training? How do I market my services? What are some of the advantages in this area that I can explore? Okay. So, uh, as I previously was saying, mm. uh, fish farming is a lucrative mm. work. Mm. Uh, you need to be trustworthy mm -hmm. and diligent in your work. Mm. Okay. Uh, for instance, if and you know, I come to your place and build a cage for you, mm. and I do a good work. Mm. It is you who is going to broadcast mm -hmm. my my work to other people. Yes. But if I don't do a good work, mm -hmm. there is no way I'm going to get that right. uh, recognition. Okay. So uh, I will advise mm. my brothers, my younger people, uh, brothers, and even an elderly person mm. who want to go into this, mm. should be trustworthy mm. in their dealing with fish farm okay because it's more expensive mm. so when somebody trusts a lot of money into your hands and mm. you don't do the right thing for the person you spoil your market yeah you spoil okay your market. all right so that is what Godfrey has to say when it comes to fish farming or even building the cages for you to uh, your clients or anybody who requires his service my name is Enyunam and this is how we draw the curtain on today's discussion focusing on pond or cages thank you for watching I'll see you again next week.